everyone in this particular video i am going to discuss the calculation of crystal field stabilization energy in octahedral complexes in this we will discussing the following points what is crystal field stabilization energy and the next one that is calculation of crystal field stabilization energy in high spin and low spin complexes and finally we will uh, do some exercise crystal field stabilization energy of a complex that is abbreviated as cfsc CFSC is the sum of the energies of all the d electrons in the metal ion for the metal ion in octahedral complexes with the electronic configuration that is t2g x eg y CFSC will be x into minus 0 0.4 delta o plus y into plus 0 0.6 delta o plus set p where x is the number of electrons in the t2g orbital and y is the number of electrons in the eg orbital and p the pairing energy which is the energy penalty when pairing occurs against hans rule pairing energy is constant for a particular metal ion irrespective of the ligands next is z z the number of electron pair formed against hans rule you can easily find out the value of z by subtracting number of electron pair before d orbital splitting from electron pair after d orbital splitting this is the d orbital splitting in octahedral complex if there is one d uh, electron in metal ion the spherical field environment electron will be here here octahedral field electron will be in t2g orbital therefore here d1 this one is t2g the lower set of orbitals and this is eg the higher set of orbital x equal to 1 x, uh, x is the number of electron in the t2g orbital and y uh, the number of electron in the eg orbital uh, that is 0 therefore y equal to 0 z there is no pairing there was z uh, equal to 0 uh, now we will put these uh, values in the above equation c f s e equal to 1 x equal to 1 right into minus 0 0.4 delta o plus 0 into plus 0 0.6 uh, delta o plus z equal to 0 right therefore here 0 into p therefore here uh, cfse cfse equal to minus 0 0.4 delta o no need to worry about this negative charge that is the modulus of this value 1 uh, d electron in metal ion of an octahedral complex already I have explained therefore no need to explain further here the calculated value uh, that is CFSC value that will be equal to minus 0 0.4 delta O here if there are two electrons in the metal ion of an octahedral complex 
here in octahedral field both the electrons in t t2 g orbital here this is t2 g orbital and this one is e g orbital right therefore here x x is the number of electron in the t2 g orbital that will be equal to 2 then y y uh, there is no electron in the e g orbital therefore it will be equal to 0 and z there is no pairing therefore it will be equal to uh, 0 now we can uh, put the value in the above equation therefore here c f s c that will be equal to 2 into minus 0 0.4 your delta O plus 0 into plus 0 0.6 delta O your Z that will be equal to 0 0 into P therefore here CFSC value uh, that will be equal to minus 0 0.8 delta 0 sorry delta o octahedral complex okay therefore here uh, for d2 cfsc that will be equal to 0 0.8 delta o no need to worry about that negative charge therefore here in the case of d3 in octahedral field uh, three electrons are there therefore x that will be equal to 3 and y no electron in the eg orbital here T2G therefore here value that will be 0 Z that will be equal to 0 no pairing 0 therefore here crystal field stabilization energy CF SC therefore 3 into minus 0 0.4 delta O plus 0 into 0 0.6 plus delta O plus 0 into P therefore here crystal field stabilization energy minus 1.2 no need to worry about that negative charge that is the modulus of this value ok therefore here D1 0 0.4 delta o for d2 crystal field stabilization energy 0 0.8 delta o d3 crystal field stabilization energy there are two possibilities for metal ion having d4 to d7 electronic configuration depending on the nature of the ligands and the metal they could be high spin or low spin complexes if there are four electrons in a metal ion of an octahedral complex, spherical field, environment, all the four electrons will be here. One, two, three, four. In octahedral field, three electrons will be in the T2G orbital. One, two, three. Fourth electron may enter into EG orbital according to the Hans rule. Therefore, here fourth electron I am going to draw here. Fourth electron enter the EG orbital only when delta O is less than the pairing energy. These complexes have higher electronic spin value and therefore called as high spin complex. Therefore, this is high spin complex. So, D4 high spin complex X equal to the number of electron in the t2g orbital that is 3 and y the number of electron in the eg orbital that is 1 then z no pairing therefore 0 crystal field stabilization energy that will be 3 into minus 0 0.4 delta o plus 1 into plus 0 
delta O plus 0 P. Therefore, here answer it will be C F S C. It will be minus 1.2 delta 0. Here in this case, fourth electron enter into T2G orbital. There are four electrons in a in the metal ion of an octahedral complex. Spherical field environment, all the four electrons will be here. 1, 2, 3, 4. In octahedral field, three electrons will be in the T2G orbital. 1, 2, 3. Fourth electron enter into T2G orbital against Hans rule. Fourth electron enter into T2G orbital. This is T2G orbitals, right? And this one is EG orbital. This phenomenon occurs when delta O that is greater than the pairing energy. These complexes have lower spin value and therefore called low spin complex. Low spin complex. So D4 low spin complex x is equal to the number of electron in the t2g orbitals right therefore here x uh, that will be equal to 4 and y uh, the number of electrons in the eg orbital therefore here that is, uh, that will be 0 z no electron pair in spherical field one electron pair in the octahedral field one electron pair in the octahedral field right therefore z uh, that will be equal to 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 is 1 now we can calculate the crystal field stabilization energy c f s c x is equal to 4 4 into minus 0 0.4 delta o plus 0 into minus 0 0.6 delta o plus uh, z that, uh, that is 1 1 into p therefore here c f s c this is c okay is equal to minus 1.6 delta o plus 1 p d4 low speed similarly you can calculate the c f s c 4 d5 d6 d7 d8 d9 and d10 one table is given over here you can check the cfsc uh, values there are two possibilities for metal ion having d4 to d7 electronic configuration depending on the nature of the ligand and the metal they could be high spin or low spin that we have to keep in mind while calculating the CFSC. Here the first point that is low valent 3D complexes are high spin with weak ligand and low spin with strong ligand. Therefore here I am going to write two complexes Fe H2O6 2 plus and Fe CN6 this is 6 ok uh, 4 minus 2 complexes are given over here first I am going to consider this one oxidation state of Fe that is plus 2 next I am going to consider this one oxidation state of Fe that is plus 2 both of the complex of Fe is lower oxidation state which is plus 2 first I am going to consider this one therefore H2O that is a weak ligand so this complex shows high spin high spin uh, next I am considering uh, this one 
second complex therefore here cn that is strong ligand strong ligand this complex shows low spin i hope you understood low valent 3d complexes are high spin with weak ligand and low spin with strong ligand okay that's the first point and the second point that is 4d and 5d complexes are always low spin because of larger delta o value 4d and 5d complexes are always low spin because of larger delta o value third one high valent 3d complexes are mostly low spin there are rarely high spin therefore here i am going to take h2o 6 3 plus co as higher oxidation state oxidation state of co that is plus 3 even though h2o uh, is weak ligand but this complex shows low spin low spin high valent 3d complexes are mostly low spin there are rarely high spin co f6 3 minus that is high spin high valent 3d complexes are mostly low spin there are rarely high spin i hope you have understood everything thank you